September 1st is Little Black Dress Day. So I'm gonna show you how to transform your LBD for the fall. So let's go. Welcome to my channel. My name is Adrienne Kieser and I'm your over 50s fashion diva. Here on my channel, we talk about fashion, of course, but also beauty, lifestyle, travel, and anything trending in social media on any of those topics. So if you want to stay relevant over 50, you've come to the right place. Now, before we get started, I would like to say a few things. One, this lash over here is making me crazy, so if it's looking a little wonky on camera, I apologize. Also, my hair is going through it. I'm trying to grow it out, and you know how it goes through those weird lengths where you can't do anything with it? So I apologize for the hair. <laughs> and lastly, I'm wearing these really cute little boba tea earrings that I picked up at Amazon. I'm starting a series all about the silly earrings that I picked up from Amazon. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll know when those videos go up. All right, I've got my Get Wardrobe app up on my iPad. This is where I put all of my looks together. So let's go ahead and get started with the first look. First up, we're going to start with a daytime look. I chose this hunter dress. It is one of my favorite dresses. It's one of those when you can't think of something to wear, you grab that hunter dress. It goes with everything. Love it. It is a racer back. It does have a mesh overlay on it. It also has the little hunter logo on the very top. Very simple black dress with the white piping as an accent. Love this dress. Now the way I style them up for the summer would be something very simple, like these gladiator sandals with the studs on them, the silver studs. Very comfortable, goes perfect with the dress. Then I also chose this Adidas visor. I'm not really a visor girl, but I just picked these up from Amazon. I got one in black and one in white, and I thought it was really fun. And then once I put it together, I was like, oh, I kind of like this. I need to start wearing visors more often. <laughs> then I decided for jewelry to go with these little earrings that I also picked up from Amazon. They actually are a middle finger, <laughs> but they are in a black metal and a silver metal, and I just mixed them up on my ears just to give a little something different to the look. I also paired it with this gold silver cuff that I've had for a thousand years. I don't even remember where I got it. I decided to add in a black nose hoop for my summertime look. Also some Amazon rings. Now for my bag, I just threw in this very lightweight nylon bag from John Casablanca, which is a modeling center that I used to work for many years ago. I still have that bag. I use it all the time. It's a great daytime bag, especially for summer because it is so lightweight. And then I just finished the look with these aviator style sunglasses that I picked up here in Belize. They're a no name brand. And this is how I style this look up for summer. I decided to do was add these black gold toed socks. It's going to start getting a little chilly, so you want to keep them feet warm. So I thought, why not add in some socks? <laughs> the other reason I decided to add socks is because I wanted to add in my all star Chuck Taylor Converse sneakers. These are all beat up and worn in. I absolutely love them. They are such a good fall shoe. 
the black, the white in the shoe, the black and white in the dress. It goes great, right? Now to bring in some color into the look, I decided to go with this stunning royal blue bandana and just decided to tie it up in my hair just to make it look, you know, more of a daytime look, like I'm running errands, I'm going shopping, maybe lunch with my girlfriends, that kind of a vibe. If you're having a bad hair day, as I am going through right now, <laughs> you're trying to do a little something extra to make your hair look adorable. So I thought that this bandana was perfect. For jewelry, because it was fall, I decided to add in this black leather cuff it does say 420 on it. I got it at a cannabis festival a million years ago. Now the rest of the jewelry, I got most of the rings from Amazon. I included one that is this really fun spinner ring. I included these really fun water bottle earrings also from this pack of silly earrings that I got from Amazon. The nose hoop that I chose was a blue color to bring in the blue from the bandana into the look. To top off the dress, because it is fall, I chose this blue denim jacket that I got from Express. Also, it has the silver studs on it. Love this jacket. It is the perfect fall staple piece in my wardrobe, and I use it every single year. And last up for this look, I chose my navy blue and white Michael Kors bag. This is another go-to for me for the fall, for the summer. I use this bag all year round. It's the perfect bag if you wanna go shopping. It carries a ton of stuff in it. And that also includes my navy blue umbrella from Covey that I picked up also from Amazon. I do need blackout umbrellas because I live in the tropics. And also, we are in the middle of rainy season here in Belize. So I do like to carry my umbrellas around with me and just slip it into my bag and it goes everywhere. And this is the final fall look, you guys. What do you think? Did I transform that little black dress perfectly for the fall? Make sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of the look. I absolutely love this look. I think it turned out perfectly. It is the perfect air, running errands, going shopping, lunch with your girlfriends on a weekend. I just thought that this look really came out well. And I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I love styling it. All right, on to the next little black dress. For today's fragrance, I'm using Clinique's Calyx because as the fall hits you, you still want a little bit of a summer scent and that's what this does. It just kind of reminds you of the summer. This little black dress I chose because sheer is a huge trend for all of 2024. And this little sheen dress I picked up also from Amazon. You're gonna hear Amazon a lot in this video. <laughs> the base underneath this sheer dress is some shapewear also picked up from Amazon and a nice black bra as a good foundation to wear underneath this sheer dress. It's such a fun dress. It's very lacy, very feminine. I love the little short sleeve on the dress. Also in the back has a little cutout. Absolutely love this dress. And this is how I styled it for the summer. For the summer, the way that I would style this dress would be a nice, easy, flat sandal. It is a slight little wedge sandal, but I love the embellishments on the front. They are so super comfortable, so flattering, and I thought that it just goes perfectly with the dress. For jewelry, I decided to go with my gold with blue topaz and diamond ring. I also threw in a few other gold Amazon rings in the mix. I added this faux pearl stacked beaded bracelet, as well as some really fun water 
earrings. They're almost like my boba earrings, but these are like little water jugs with a straw and little lemons inside. So adorable. Love these silly earrings. Love styling them up. It's been a ton of fun. And I thought that this would just be a great little addition to this look. To finish off the look, I chose this raffia style bag that my sister gave me years ago. It's got like fringe on it, raffia, little coins, little studs, metal studs on it. It's such a fun bag. It screams summertime. You can wear it as a clutch. It also has a long strap if you want to wear it as a crossbody. Such a great bag. And then I paired it with these aviator style sunglasses. Again, a no name brand that I picked up here in Belize and thought that it finished off the look perfectly. Now let me show you how I would transition this sheer dress for the fall. You're thinking sheer for the fall, it can be done. And this is how we're gonna do it. First up, we're gonna start with some black tights. <laughs> These are by a brand called Hey You You. Again, I picked them up on Amazon. They're black tights. You can get them anywhere, right? So put on a pair of black tights and that will definitely keep your lower half covered underneath this very sheer dress and keep you warm at the same time. <laughs> then I decided to add this stunning Michael Kors sweater. It's so soft and warm. There's a touch of cashmere in this very wool sweater. And how do you not love all that sequins along the collar? It actually goes around to the backside and there's also a little what I call walk away tag on the back that says Michael Kors and a little silver placket. Absolutely love this sweater. It is the perfect fall transition piece and it'll definitely keep you warm between the tights and the sweater. You'll be doing all right. For shoes, I decided to go with these ultra high heel ankle booties. Love these shoes, another Amazon purchase but with the gold metal on there to tie in with the sequins from the sweater, I thought it went perfect. I love anything that gives me that level of height. And surprisingly, these shoes are extremely comfortable. They do have a lace up. I, I just love these booties. I wear them every single season. As soon as the weather starts turning, those booties come out. <laughs> Look how perfect they look with the outfit so far. Oh, perfect choice for this look. For jewelry, I decided to go with more Amazon rings. <laughs> but with all that gorgeous sequin right there at the neckline, I felt that jewelry should be very minimal. I did decide to add in some more silly earrings and paired it with these really fun red and white little baby mushrooms. Look at how cute these look. <laughs> and always I try to add in a nose ring or a nose stud. This one I chose to go with a little bit of red, trying to break up all that black and I thought it just went perfectly. Now I decided to break up all that black <laughs> and add another layer to keep us warm since we are wearing sheer and that is this north face vest such a stunning red absolutely love this vest it does keep you very warm because it is north face it's got pockets what more could you ask for in a north face jacket it's absolutely stunning of course it's got the logo on the chest there's also another one on the back thought it just really broke up all of the black on black on black <laughs> and threw in an explosive color just to give the look that extra special touch. Also thought it would be a good idea to throw in this incredible red bag. It is a patent leather. It is by a brand called Bayo. 
Got it a million years ago. It's one of my all-time favorite bags. Again, as soon as the weather starts changing, that bag comes out. I absolutely love it. I thought it went perfectly with this look. And yeah, just a little bit more red to have some fun. And the final piece of this look are these red frame sunglasses. These oversized big square sunglasses. Love, love, love these. Picked them up here at the department store in Bamapam, Belize and have been wearing them to death ever since. <laughs> Thought that it topped the look off perfectly. And what more can I say? I absolutely love this look. I think it came out perfectly and it is the best way I knew how to take your sheer little black dress and transition it into the fall. As always, I would love to know what you guys think of the look. So make sure to drop me a comment and let me know. Okay, dress number three, let's hit it. Little black dress number three, we're heading to the office, or at least any event where you need to look corporate chic. And for this little black dress, I decided to go with my Calvin Klein dress. This dress gets a lot of play. <laughs> From the office to date night, it is a stunning, stunning dress. Now, if you know, you know, when you're designing an all black look or an all black collection or an all black dress, the devil is in the details and the details on this dress are phenomenal. It's got this incredible ruching across the chest and then it's got these really sweet little pleats down one side, just a few little pleats down one side. Absolutely love this dress. Like I say, it gets a lot of play. Let me show you how I style it for the summer. First up, I decided to pair it with these incredible Kenneth Cole espadrilles. The black leather across the front and going up the shoe. Absolutely love these espadrilles. Just picked these up, also on Amazon, but thought that they went perfectly with the dress, keep in with that summer vibe. For jewelry, I have these gold hoops. They're actually clip-on hoops. They're vintage that I picked up at an auction. And I also have this necklace from Joan Rivers collection when she used to do her collections for QVC. My mom was addicted and when she passed, I inherited her necklace. This is such a fun necklace. All the little beads are actually interchangeable. There's several different colors beads that you can interchange on the necklace. I decided to go with black, of course, to go with my little black dress. I also kept the gold with the blue topaz and diamond ring and also some more fun gold Amazon rings. The bag that I chose is this vintage leather bag. One thing you have to know is I used to work at an auction gallery, one of my many corporate jobs, but that is where I picked up a lot of my vintage pieces and this was one of them. The leather is so buttery soft. I love the little gold accent, all the details on the inside. It's just a stunning leather little clutch bag. It brings in that summer vibe and I thought it just went perfectly with this outfit. And to finish the look, I have these cat eye sunglasses that I picked up here at the department store in Belmapan, Belize. They've got the little gold accents and it just screams summer, right? And this is how I would style my Calvin Klein dress for the summer. Now let's transition it for the fall. First up is this gorgeous C by Chloe gold thread short sleeve jacket. I love this style. It's sort of a boxy style, very vintage inspired. 
absolutely love these huge white pearlescent style buttons down the front. The Peter Pan style collar. Oh, love this jacket. Let me just say that when I was working in corporate America, this little jacket got a lot of play. And I thought it was perfect with the Calvin Klein dress. Next, I decided to add this stunning silk scarf. It is one of my hands down favorite silk scarves. And I've got a lot of scarves, keep in mind. I am a fashion stylist. I've been collecting scarves for years. This just happens to be one of my hands down favorite. It is beautiful. The black with the gold and all the little design are vintage perfume bottles. I love that it's got that little pop of red within the scarf and just thought it was going to go perfectly with this look. So I just took it and added it around my neck almost in an ascot style and I just think it looks so chic, so fabulous. And yeah, what more can you say? It's amazing, right? <laughs> now, as a fashion stylist, I am bold enough to mix patterns. So I decided to add these leopard print, ultra high platform stiletto shoes. Again, these shoes got a lot of play when I was working in corporate America. And oddly enough, I picked up these shoes at Target a hundred years ago. And every single time I wear them, people compliment me on those shoes. I don't think I paid more than $25 for those shoes and people rave about them every single time I wear them. I love those shoes so much. I actually also got the same exact pair in purple <laughs> and people compliment those just as much as well. <laughs> Now for jewelry, I really had a lot of fun with this one. Now I did add my Amazon rings. I got a huge pack of those rings, so I use them a lot. <laughs> but what was the most fun jewelry piece out of this whole entire look was the little ramen bag earrings. Oh, I thought it paired perfectly. Look how good it looks paired with the scarf, the yellows from the scarf and the red from the scarf transmitting up to the red and the yellows in the earrings. I don't think I could have picked a better earring for this look if I tried. <laughs> now, I always forget to mention the nose studs, but for this one, I decided to add in a little red nose stud, again, to pair in with the red from the earrings and the scarf. Also to break up a little bit of the gold in the outfit. I think it works. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mention about the nose stud in the summer look. I probably showed it off, but listen, I filmed the fashion part first, then the narration after. So if I forget something in between, I apologize. <laughs> For the bag, I have another vintage piece. Look how perfectly this gold threaded clutch bag, vintage clutch bag pairs with the C by Chloe jacket, the gold thread in the jacket, the gold thread in the bag. Again, I don't know that I could have paired two things more perfectly together. And oddly enough, I've actually never paired those two things together before. But when I did, I was like, why? Why haven't I paired these two things together before? <laughs> and I've also had both of those pieces for a very long time. But look at how good they look together. I think it just, finishes off the look so fantastically. And the final piece of this look are these Michael Kors sunglasses with the gold metal frames. Again, all that gold just all goes together. The little black dress is the perfect backdrop for all these pieces. And I just really loved how this look came out. Now, if you are going to the office or going somewhere where you need a large tote bag, I decided to pick out this Michael Kors tote bag. I love this bag. I have used this at client meetings. I've used it when I was working in corporate America. It is an enormous bag. I've used it for travel also because you can fit so much inside of this bag. 
you can just drop your little clutch bag in there and a thousand other things. So if you need a nice huge tote for the day, think about something like this Michael Kors tote and it will just finish off your look perfectly. I think this is a perfect look, not just for the office, but say you have like sort of an official event to go to, a theater date, a family event, a very special date night, a wedding, something like that. I just think that this look would be perfect for any of those occasions. What do you guys think? As always, I would love to know your thoughts, so make sure to leave me a comment. Let's get on to this final little black dress and wrap up this video. This final little black dress is really more for an evening out, something a little bit more formal. And I thought that this Rachel Zoe dress that will be perfect for any special occasion event on your calendar. Look at the sequence. It is so stunning. They're actually these little circle paillettes from head to toe all over the dress. It's got a back out. <laughs> How sexy can you get when you got a back out dress? I love this dress. I've worn it a million times. Any formal event, this dress is going to work. So let me show you how I style it for a summer formal event. Now for the summer, I really wanted the dress to be the hero piece and that everything else was just sort of there to enhance the actual dress. So for that, I started off with these silver sling back shoes, another platform heel. I am a woman of short stature, <laughs> so I do love a good high heel shoe. Now funnily enough, these are the same exact shoes that I wore at my wedding. <laughs> Listen, the mirrors didn't last, but the shoes did, okay? <laughs> I love these shoes. I got them at David's Bridal. They are such a stunning sequin shoe that they are perfect for any formal event. For jewelry, I kept it simple, but stunning. I chose this mono earring that actually hugs the ear with these gorgeous crystals and then cascades down the neck. Such a stunning piece. And surprisingly, I picked it up on Amazon. Now the ring I actually picked up a thousand years ago. It's all these little Swarovski crystals in the shape of a frog. And I don't remember where I got it, but the second that I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I pull it out for every fancy occasion. And if you haven't figured out by now, I love a good conversation starter. Everything from the ramen bag earrings to this frog ring. Any opportunity I can throw in something that I know is gonna start a conversation in an outfit, I will do it. Almost forgot it again. The crystal nose stud. <laughs> now for the bag, I have this silver little clutch bag. Yes, I love a good clutch bag. Clutch bags are huge for 2024, so get some if you don't already own them. This bag actually does also have a little chain to it, but what really puts it over the top is that little rose detail on the front. Roses are huge for 2024, so I thought that this bag just went perfectly with this look. And this is how I would style this gorgeous Rachel Zoe dress for a summer formal event. All right, now let's transition her for the fall. Now for the fall, I decided to do something completely different. And instead of making the dress the hero piece, I decided to make it the backdrop 
for a lot of really fun colors, a lot of jewel tones. The scream fall is here and I am ready for the transition. For shoes, I decided to go with this multicolored Sylvia Teshery. I actually picked these shoes up from Payless a thousand years ago and have loved them and worn them every single fall ever since. The red, the pink, that stunning aubergine. Oh, absolutely love them. They are sky high. Again, I love a sky high shoe. And really wanted to bring in that color. That's the first item that I chose and I picked all the accessories on the backs of those booties. For the jewelry, I brought in these drop almost hoop style enamel earrings that I bought at the auction gallery when I worked there. And also this really pretty ring. I'm actually wearing it today. It's almost like this pink opal. And again, also in a pack of Amazon rings. To bring in the red from the shoe, I decided to add in a red nose stud. And to finish the look, I have this stunning, almost blood red and black silk scarf that I'm using as just a simple little throw. If you're going out in the evening and you don't wanna wear an entire coat, just throw that on. It really shows the sequence through it and really accentuates the dress, accentuates the colors. Oh, absolutely love the way that I put this together. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and the piece de resistance is this gorgeous silk Asian style box bag. Love this bag. Brought in the pink from the shoes, the red from the scarf, the red from all the jewelry, the pink from the jewelry, really ties the look together. I thought it went perfectly. This bag can go either daytime or evening, but I think because that it is made of silk that it really kind of can lean towards that evening style. And yeah, I just really love the way it goes with this look. And this is the final look for this gorgeous Rachel Zoe sequin dress. What do you guys think of this look? Again, I thought I did a fantastic job styling it. <laughs> I hope you guys do as well. I really had a lot of fun putting this look together and I hope that it shows in the end result. And there you go, you guys. Four little black dresses that you can wear at different occasions and how you can transition them from the summer into the fall. I hope this guys gave you some inspiration and some tips and tricks on how you can style your little black dress from the summer into the fall. Now before we end the video, I would like to say thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. If this was your first time here, I do hope that it encourages you to subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow me on TikTok. I'll make sure that I leave the link in the description box below. Thank you all again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And until next time, stay fashionable. Bye. Catch me if I fall